Hello, this is Tofim Trifle Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can easily align uh, your models onto the surface of an object. I've done a tutorial on this before uh, using Blender's native tools. Uh, but this time, I'm going to show you how to use an add-on to get it done. And the add-on is free. And it works pretty well. It's called the... Let me see... The Popoti Align Helper, I think I'm pronouncing that right, by Yohar 4D. Um, and once you've, I'll leave a, this link below this video so you can download yourselves and check it out. And just click in there and click on Download Zip. And it's for, as far as I can tell, I've installed it in Blender 2.9 all the way to 4.0. So it should work through all those versions of Blender. Uh, my voice is still a little bit rough, still a little bit scratchy, but it's, it's all good. Uh, but once you've downloaded onto your system, the installation process is still the same. Go to Edit. I'm using 4.0 for this tutorial. Go to Edit. Preferences. Install. Uh, then navigate to where you've downloaded onto your, your computer. Click on it. Click on Install Add-on, and it should be there. I was going to do a tutorial on how to manually install... Uh, add-ons to the blender just in case you have a hard time doing it, but I have to do that next week. It's more prep time, but I'll do it next week. But let's type in uh, pop there, put a check in the box, and it's activated. And it should be in the toolbar right here. And it's really, it's got a nice uh, display here um, in terms of what it actually does with the thumbnails. You can align objects into the corner, left top corner, top of a top of a surface, right hand corner, uh, the left part of a surface in the middle, so on and so forth. You have options here for the distribution of your uh, model and so on and so forth. If you want it on an active surface, on the cursor or the world origin, so on and so forth. But let's give it a test run here. Let's click on our move gizmo, left click and drag up on the Z axis. Reposition our window here. Let's press Shift A on our keyboard. Mesh plane. Let's press S to scale this up. And let's see how it actually works. Usually, when it comes to uh, putting a model on top of, of another model, you have to do it in succession. But with this add-on, I've seen you don't have to do that. You can click on this first. Hold down Shift, left click that, and we want to place it on top of it. So just click on this uh, thumbnail here. And there you go, goes right on top of it, really makes it uh, pretty precise. Left click and drag on that again, let's lift, drag this up. You can click it in any uh, uh, succession you want. Click this first, click that first, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's click that first again, hold down shift, let's click on our cube again. And let's put it into the left hand corner, it does it pretty easily. Now let's, let's uh, pretty much get a string of models here um, let's press A to deselect everything or left click with 4.0 the uh, way to select objects is a little bit different I'm still kind of trying to get used to it but let's press shift A mesh create Suzanne left click drag her up uh, shift A again mesh UV sphere and let's put this on different heights. Let's press one on our keyboard to get a straight, uh, press the three actually, get a more straightforward appearance of what's on our, key, uh, in our viewport here. Left click on uh, that cube there. Let's drag this up. And let's see if this is going to actually uh, place these uh, objects because there are different heights. So let's just push it and see if it, go, if it will place the objects on top of the surface properly. So we're going to keep that selected. Hold down shift, left click left click left click and it does it so that's good now let's see <coughs> excuse me about it uh, putting it into the corners here onto the sides but if we keep them in the same line they'll just bunch up together so we are gonna have to spread them out left click on our sphere there left click and drag on the x-axis left click on our cube 
drag it on the x-axis in the opposite direction. And then let's uh, hold down shift, left click, left click, click our plane last, and we want to put it onto the right hand side of our uh, surface there. Let's click on that and it does it. So that, that works pretty well. Now when it comes to placing objects uh, properly, so to speak, you can tell with Suzanne, usually if you would place her uh, on a surface, it would be more flush in terms of uh, the base of her head would be actually on top of the surface, but it doesn't do that to that extent. It just pretty much places her chin on top of the surface, and we'd have to rotate it ourselves to place her properly. Uh, but for the most part, it does place her uh, flat on there. Uh, let's see about diagonal surface. I don't think we'll do diagonal surfaces. But let's just try it out. Let's left click on our cube, press 3 on our keyboard, and rotate our, our, our cube or our flat surface uh, by pressing the rotation gizmo. Left click and drag on the white part of it to place it flat. And we're going to click on our cube. Hold on shift, click on Suzanne, hold on shift, click on our UV sphere, and then we're going to place the um, models and see if it places it flat uh, or on the same angle as our surface here by pressing that. Let's see. Oh, and it goes it actually goes through our surface there. Uh, I think we should press this one. So it has some some kind of limitations with it when it comes to a diagonal surface. It doesn't really respect the um, angle of our surface there. It keeps putting it past our surface. Uh, but when it comes to like flat surfaces, um, as it shows on the thumbnails, that's what it can do. So let's Alt R to clear the rotation on this. And uh, let's give it one more test. It says we can actually put these elements uh, on the upper part, so to speak, of our surface. So I'm going to keep that selected. Hold down Shift, left click. Uh, shift, left click. Scroll up in our mouse wheel, left click. We're going to choose that uh, icon there, and it does that. So that's the limitation it has when it comes to uh, a diagonal surface. It doesn't respect the angle. But when it comes to a flat surface and the corners, so on and so forth, it will place the models on a flat surface. So that's the that's what it can do. So it's not that bad for a free add-on. It does what the icons show. So that's today's Blender Quick Tip. And I hope this was helpful for those of you who uh, have watched the tutorial. And once again, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.